Hey everyone, the motherboard IO Shield is the bane of every PC builder's existence because at one point or another we've probably all forgotten about it after finishing the build. And what you'll notice is it's almost impossible to then get the IO Shield back. So you've then got this big gaping hole in the back of your case, which is really annoying. But should you actually fix this, you know, should you take your motherboard out to put the IO Shield in the case and, and etc. etc., or should you just leave it? Well, the short answer is it depends. There's a bit of a debate about it. Like some people say you shouldn't have that big gap without your IO shield because that's bad for like dust and static electricity. Whereas other people say it doesn't matter that much. And actually I forgot about my IO shield in my first two builds. I run them for many years without that IO shield and I never had any issues. So meh. But the reason some people say it's important to have is firstly the IO shield can in some cases help ground your motherboard to the case. And this isn't always the case because actually the standoffs help with grounding and things but actually having you know your motherboard properly connected to your case from the standoffs and the IO shield can help with grounding in some cases if there's certain electrical issues and things like that and secondly as I touched on earlier it's nice to have it because otherwise you can have you know dust getting in the system and thirdly you know you could have like bugs and things like that potentially get inside your computer depending on where you live and that's some of the arguments some people say in favor of you know taking your computer apart to get the IO shield back but I'd argue actually, you know, most cases have vents and other gaps around them. Bugs or dust can actually get in those holes instead. So I think if your case has lots of holes in it, I wouldn't worry too much if you forgot, forgot your IO shield because you've just got even more holes, which arguably is good for airflow. But anyway, that is something worth knowing is there is a bit of a debate about it. The fourth thing I wanted to mention though is that your key components are all exposed. And I'm not just talking about like your CPU because that's a bit further in, but actually things like part of your graphics card and even some of the important IO connections behind, you know, the actual case inside your computer for things like the USBs or the ethernet, then actually they more exposed. And then if you've got kids posting things or you know pets brushing up against it in some cases that could actually cause a short that could then damage your USB port or something like that in some cases you might be able to actually clip off part of the IO shield and put it in place which I've done one time and it sort of worked a little bit but then it meant I couldn't access some of my USB ports and things because it wasn't quite aligned properly so it is a bit of a faff the proper solution is to actually take your motherboard out of the case so loosen it from the standoffs take your motherboard up and put the IO shield back. That's the proper solution. It's up to you whether you do that or not. But at least hopefully from this video, you've now got a bit more information about the pros and cons of, you know, leaving your IO shield off. And in the future, it might be worth pointing out that some motherboards, modern ones, actually have integrated IO shields. They are quite nice because if you're forgetful like me, then actually having the motherboard with that in place, you know, it is a lot nicer. If you've got any further questions, please drop me a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button and please subscribe to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching.